Joe Rogan has uncovered that he is stressed after Mike Tyson supposedly stretched out, took out and competing beyond his battle with Jake Paul for quite a long time. The battling scene has hummed with hypothesis over the exceptionally expected conflict between Jake Paul and boxing legend Mike Tyson while the energy around this session is certain it likewise work up worries, given that the previous WBC heavyweight champion is wrestling with the costs of maturing. Toward the beginning of January 2024, Tyson was found in a wheelchair battling with sciatica, a condition that causes extreme torment and shortcoming as the sciatic nerve is exasperated by development. Yet again, adding to his difficulties, Tyson needed to pull out from the July battle because of an eruption of his ulcer. The session has been rescheduled, and on November 15, 2024, the contenders are set to go head-to-head -head as the commencement to the enormous night. Starts, Joe Rogan and his visitors say something regarding what the ideal result of the match could seem to be in episode 163 of the Jerry Ammon Show. Joe Rogan assembled with previous MMA warriors Cave Thomas, John Rollo, and Matt Sarah to examine the exceptionally expected conflict between Iron Mike Tyson and the issue youngster Jake Paul. During the discussion, Rogan voiced his stresses over Tyson's prosperity, pondering the way in which the unbelievable fighter could feel about venturing into the ring again to face Paul at the stage in his life. The belator FC symbol noticed that Tyson seemed to live it up while building up the battles. It was really a no-lose situation for him. Assuming he lost, everybody would credit it to his age. However, a triumph over Paul that would just shine his heritage much further, Rogan pushed the discussion ahead, portraying Mike Tyson as a beast and taking note of that if Tyson would close the distance and land a strong blend on Jake Paul, it would be a wild sight to see Paul noticeably shaken. It was Lair Thomas's chance straight away, and he guaranteed that the most ideal situation for the world would be Tyson's triumph through Co. Adding to that Rogan reference that the most ideal situation would be Jake Paul rapidly acknowledging he is confronting Mike Tyson, particularly in the primary round or Two, obviously this feeling was shared by the MMA veterans too. It's unquestionably perhaps of the most convincing confrontation in proficient boxing history. This leads us to the squeezing question, how precisely would the baddest man on earth convey a knockout blow? Luckily, Rogan has an unmistakable response. To that, as the discussion advanced, Rogan commented that Tyson was completely equipped for taking Paul out, particularly in the event that Paul took some unacceptable action, and Tyson figured out how to close the distance. Suddenly, anyway, Rogan recognized that Tyson actually confronted huge difficulties, bringing up that Tyson had layers of assault systems instilled to him and had neglected more about boxing than Jake Paul had at any point learned man. He's thoroughly adequate. The Jerhab was very much aware of Paul's battling abilities, yet his genuine expectation was that the issue youngster wouldn't bring Tyson down for Rogan watching the famous fighter get taken out at 58 would be a terrible second and a considerable lot. Of Iron Mike's fans felt the same way in an as-of-late shared Instagram cut. Paul is seen preparing for his battle at the instructional course, yet a few fans had lingering doubts after. Witnessing the Ohio local in real life, do man doesn't have anything to do with boxing. He moves like a starter at a road battle, one fan wrote in light of the recording anyway. Others contended Paul's look wasn't that astounding considering he has climbed in weight to take on. Tyson, others kept on sponsorship. Tyson, regardless of the previous champion being over 30 years, Paul's senior, he's too weighty move, excessively delayed for Mike, early knockout. Pal kept in touch with one. For what reason does Jake look slow and drowsy? Another answer read this fan said he is. Competing somebody that don't retaliate for Tyson. This denotes his most memorable revisitation of the ring since the 202 presentation coordinate with Roy Jones Jr., his last authority proficient battle anyway was, way back in 2005 when he confronted Kevin McBride. The battle has drawn a ton of analysis, with a few boxing yippies expressing that it ought not be occurring. One unbelievable figure in boxing, Larry Holmes has shared his considerations on the forthcoming match, Holmes who went head-to-head -head against Tyson in 1988 and experienced a loss by fourth-round technical knockout, communicated his expectation during a meeting with Yusa today. He said, I'll wager a quarter on Mike Tyson. The Tyson variant, Paul Occasion, will grandstand a jolting matchup for the undisputed very lightweight title highlighting K-Ty Taylor facing Amanda Serrano. Moreover, fans can anticipate a WBC welterweight title conflict between Mario Barros and Abel Ramos in the meantime. Jake Paul has been given a harsh watchfulness as his enthusiastically anticipated standoff with the famous previous best on the planet, Mike Tyson.
gravitates toward at 27 years of age, Paul as of late, gotten a success against previous UFC contender Mike Perry this previous July. In the meantime group, Tyson has been strengthening their competition for certain sharp remarks focused on Paul, a special video set as of late included somebody free from Tyson's camp, expressing conclusively, we're not hoping to toss only one bomb, we need to toss a large number of rockets to additional help. This thought, one of Tyson's coaches pronounced out and out that Jake Paul wouldn't get an opportunity in a fight that occurred at this moment on the off chance that the battle were today, Jake Paul would be done, he added, he tosses rockets, not only one bomb, the bombs they come in a steady progression, worries over Tyson's well-being have surfaced as he as of late admitted it's difficult to walk right now, yet two months from now, I will be wonderful, the battle is won in. The exercise center, listen, I'll do anything that will help me. I will partake in my time here this evening with all my cherished companions and the damnation with Jake Paul. The boxing scene is abuzz with a whirlwind of blended reactions after Tyson shared some preparation photographs in front of his impending standoff with Paul. His devotion has been addressed following a stunning divulgence that has surprised everybody on Jimmy Kimmel's show. Iron Mike flaunted about his thorough routine. I am preparing very hard. I complete six hours per day. I start at 11 o'clock. Also could leave the rec center at 5 o'clock. A baffled Kimmel answered goodness 11 o'clock. So that is six hours in a row, or is there a midday break? Tyson yielded. There's a concise recess, leaving Kimmel surprised goodness. Tyson's confirmation that he might have consumed medications preceding the battle elevates the Dramatization as he faces the chance of losing his boxing permit in the event that he bombs a medication test. When inquired as to whether he will be high for the battle during their meeting with Kimmel, Tyson answered, I will be so high off life, definitely examining further Kimmel. Asked, will you be high on Mary Jane too? Tyson didn't preclude it. That is plausible. Two Kimmel half facetiously deplored, good gracious, my bet is getting lower as we talk. While Tyson's statement was surely daring, the earnestness of his pre-battle goals stays sketchy, assuming that he were to really participate in pot prior to dealing with the issue kid he could risk his qualification as the texas commission rigorously denies cannabis utilize the texas division of authorizing and guideline cautions assuming either warrior were to test good for a prohibited substance we would open a grievance put them on a 90-day suspension and assuming the warrior were the champ the choice would be changed to a no choice in view of a standards infringement MMA chief Ali Abdelaziz has shared energizing new experiences into Mike Tyson's preparation routine as he prepares for his profoundly expected confrontation with Jake Paul Abdelaziz, who's tight. With a boxing legend guarantees everybody that Tyson at 58 is battling fit, he told Kevin, I tune in to the extent that I realize his instructional course is going great, his inclination astounding, I would like Mike Tyson to place an opening in his mind yet in a way, who are we to tell Mike Tyson not battle? He further added, I think Mike Tyson win or lose or draw. He is perhaps of the most unmistakable figure in the game's history any place in Africa, in Asia, America, all over. I think no one has the spot except for his family to advise him to battle or not to battle. This is my perspective when gotten some information about the thinking behind advancing the occasion as Paul versus Tyson with the issue, kid recorded first, stomach muscle Del A's conveyed. An intense answer that mirrored his profound sentiments regarding the situation. He said, tune in assuming I'm battling Mike Tyson. I need Mike Tyson's name to be first. No one knows who Jake Paul is. Jake Paul went to a PFL occasion and got booed out of the structure. No one gives up about Jake Paul. He can't sell 100,000 compensation for each perspective. The main explanation, he's utilizing Mike Tyson to be pertinent. Paul is superfluous. He then said, we should be genuine sincerely to battle someone who is more established than me. However, Paul is frail he needs to ask on someone more seasoned yet i never question mike tyson he prepares with my companion rapile cordo they're having an incredible camp they continue to push it and think about what i'm as far as possible for mike tyson the most disturbing result normally would be in the event that tyson the world's most esteemed contender were to experience public embarrassment or paradise preclude be taken out by the issue youngster this potential bad dream has ignited worry among different figures, including Joe Rogan, who resolved the issue with previous UFC warriors, Matt, Sarah, John Collum, and mentor Lair Thomas. I truly trust he. Paul doesn't take Mike Tyson out. I'll simply be genuinely mooched out to could get code at 58 years of age, Rogan told his visitors. In any case, Rogan accepted that Mike Tyson, perhaps of the most imposing and unbelievable figure in boxing history, had the ability to stop. 
Paul's advances the key in Rogan's view was whether Tyson could overcome any issues and land one of his famous obliterating punches on the previous Disney star. Rogan said Mike additionally has tons of assaults that are to him. He's neglected more about boxing than Jake Paul has at any point recalled normally Rogan would. A lot of rather the battle had never occurred in any case. As of late, Joe Rogan communicated his misgivings in regards to the eagerly awaited Tyson Paul coordinate resounding with various battle lovers who are grieved by the eminent age difference between the two contenders, a gave admirer of iron. Mike Rogan uncovered his craving for the boxing symbol to avoid confronting a rival who is extensively more youthful regardless. In spite of his ditherings, the UFC pundit communicated a reasonable comprehension of, and in any event, backing for Tyson's aspiration to take on perhaps of the most. Considerable test he has at any point experienced, Rogan admitted on his digital broadcast. I wish it was anything but a thing where a 58-year-old person planned to battle a 28-year-old that said I completely support his longing to do it for Rogan this. Battle rises above the typical stakes. Tyson has for quite some time been a youth symbol, an essential figure who propelled Rogan's excursion into the universe of battle sports. The possibility of seeing a remarkable individual who once controlled the ring put all that at risk against a more youthful. Opponent is excessively powerful to bear many offer the nervousness of seeing Tyson face route. It would be a smashing second for fans and spectators. The same yet this is Mike Tyson. We're examining in the event that anybody can possibly change the story at 58. It's without a doubt him, albeit the matchup seems overwhelming from the get-go. Setting a carefully prepared veteran in opposition to a contender in the pinnacle of his profession. There stays a likelihood that Tyson's unequaled steadiness could accomplish the uncommon besides Joe. Rogan has blended debate in the battling local area with his comments in regards to Mike Tyson's forthcoming session. The prestigious UFC variety reporter has reliably communicated his war stresses over the baddest man on earth. He once lauded Jake Paul for his dangerous strength, particularly after Paul, won over imposing adversaries like Mike Perry and Anderson Silva.